Hi, it's Paula from uh, Paula Quilting and welcome to my uh, sewing space. This is going to be a short uh, mini series about my uh, sewing space. I will show you how it's set up, what I like, what I don't like and how I go about it. Those are going to be bite-sized videos about particular part of this uh, place. So if you have any questions about what you saw in that chapter, please put them in the comments below so I can pick them up in the next uh, chapter. Let's get started. All right, so we are getting close to the end. We are on the other side of the door now. Um, so I've got a chest of drawers here. Again, I bought it secondhand from uh, somewhere. Uh, and I'm keeping all my sewing stuffs in here. Uh, like I've mentioned before, um, sewing is very dusty. So whatever I can put in the drawer, uh, I will. So the small bits and pieces are here, you know, needles, clips, um, spare blades, things like that. I've got some small baskets I've made before with uh, bits and pieces as well. They go into the drawer on the top of the dividers I've got there. Second drawer, I've got my binding tapes. I use a lot of uh, ready-made. It depends on the quilt, really. If the quilt is for the charity, I would just quickly zip through uh, those ready-made ones. If the quilt is, you know, for maybe a family member or for myself, I will take some more time uh, to finish off. And then the third drawer, I've got lots of, lots of, lots of uh, spray starch in it. I've got my treads here. I do hide my uh, scissors and cutting this, you know, uh, things into this drawer as well. I don't like to leave anything, you know, on the desk, uh, especially when the kids will be around. Uh, you know, they know they shot, but you never know with the kids. Now, before I had this uh, sewing uh, space here, um, I did work on the dining table, like uh, many people. So uh, I did have my work organized a little bit different. So what I was using, let me just take this one. I was using two things uh, very often. So I bought myself this, like, um, again, lots of dust. So what I bought at the time was this, like, a, you know, DIY box, which is opening in two layers. And it, it's got inside those, uh, you know, the, the bits you can take out from the top, all of those small uh, dividers. So how I worked before is I had all of my, you know, uh, small things. Uh, needles, feet, um, chalk, blades, things like that in the top one. So I could, you know, take it out, do whatever I need, put it back in. And the bottom here was all full of thread, uh, measuring tapes, you know, bigger bits and pieces. So I've got some labels here. I still got uh, threads here because I, I had a lot, so I'm still using it, but not as much uh, anymore because obviously I moved into the drawers. But if you are working in small space or you don't have a dedicated space, this is great uh, thing to um, keep your things in. And then it's, you know, all in one place. You can put it in the cupboard, in the garage, I don't know, whatever storage solution you have there uh, for your stuff. So that's the one thing I could really recommend. It wasn't, again, expensive. I think it was like, I don't know, 16, 17 pounds on Amazon to buy. You can buy it in probably in some home sto solution stuff as well. So uh, check those. And then I had one of those Ottomans, which is sto storage. And I was putting inside my machine. And I still got my machine here. This is my first machine I ever had, which is Toyota sewing machine very easy one very basic but i still have it and i still use it on occasion it's very good for free motion quilting i i don't know why but i cannot set up properly my other machine for the free motion quilting and this one does the wonder so uh if i'm quilting free motion i use that one very often so i still keep it here and also i use that machine when my kids want to uh, do some sewing so so i take take this one out i've got foldable table they can use and set them up on this one i now keep also here some of my uh, recording equipment uh, just to have it handy and i store here my long dice so those are the dice for the strips one and a half strips and two and a half strips so they're coming in here nicely and recently i bought the second one of those because they are very handy uh, and I keep in those 
all of those tops you were seeing I finished on the tutorials <laughs> which have not yet been quilted so they are all nicely stored here and then my kids are using that ottoman also when they're playing the games I also got some ready quilts to give away and I've got some quilts for the uh, for the Linus project they're all waiting here so you know the dust is not getting gathered them on them and they are all nicely uh, hidden away from my kids as well okay so that was last piece of my sewing space which is actually sewing related uh, all the other space here is my kids kingdom so nothing interesting there lots of toys and lots of rubbish as usual and if you have any questions and com uh, you know comments please leave them for me to read if there are more questions about uh, my sewing space or anything you you want me to kind of talk more about please Please let me know and I will record another video in this series. Thanks for watching and see you next time.